Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and right now we are going to remove the airbag control module on this Lexus IS. On the Lexus IS, these are the tools you're going to need. I have my power drill with a hex bit, a 10 and 12 millimeters, a flathead, and a small prying tool for the trim. All right guys, the first thing we wanna do is to always disconnect the battery from the car. We don't want any power going into the car, whether we're working on our airbag module, our seatbelt, or the airbag itself, no power going into the car. We wanna go right over here to the battery, grab your 10 millimeter, and we're gonna go right to the negative side here and just loosen it right up. Once you have it loosened up, go ahead and give it a twist and place it completely to the side. Same thing here for our positive side. 10 millimeter. Loosen it up. Twist it up. And remove it completely to the side. As a precaution, you could grab a shop rag or something non-conductive and place it right over the contacts. That way, while we're working on the airbag system, there's no way that these can come back and make contact with the battery. Right over here, we have this side panel here, this cushion panel. We wanna start working it from the bottom here. Just give it a nice firm pull, just like that, and you'll feel it come apart. And then once you have this bottom part lifted, then you wanna to pull towards yourself. Because there's three tabs that go in towards the center. Just wanna give it a pull towards yourself. And then you'll see these tabs come right apart. These three here. And those were the clips that were holding it in. Next, go ahead and put your Phillips bit right on. And we're going to remove these two screws right here. Once you got those two screws out, go ahead and get a good firm grip on this panel here and just pull it towards you and the clips will come right off, right down towards the side here. And the last panel is right over here. Just give it a pull on this lower half right here and then pull towards yourself. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble codes. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below, or just go to myairbags.com. Then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the passenger side here. This bottom half here, just give it a nice firm pull towards you. Once you have the bottom lifted, then go ahead and pull, just like that. Then work the bottom right over here. And then the last one is right over here. Grab it from here, give it a pull, and then pull out this way. 
Next, we're gonna start working on this center trim panel right here, the coffee cup holder, as well as this trim right over here. And this part comes off pretty easily. You can even do it with your hands. Get a nice firm grip inside right here or on the outside and just give it a pull up towards. And this piece will come right off. Right over here, we have a plug. You can simply unplug it by squeezing right here in the front. Squeeze and pull. Now on this trim here, you can use your hands to get right between the creases and pull up. Or you can use a little pry bar that won't cause any damage to the trim plastic. You can go right inside here and give it a nice little push just to get started. Once you have a good little start like that and the first clip comes off, you should be able to grab it and work the rest of it right up. Now, just like the other piece, you want to go ahead and grab this plug here, squeeze, and then pull. Now, to unlock the shift knob, you're going to need a little flathead screwdriver. You want to work right over here, lift this little plastic piece right up. Now, before we go ahead and unlock the shift knob, you want to go ahead and make sure your e-brake is activated. Then go ahead and grab the flat bar, put it right in, and you feel it depressed down, this little button that presses down. And at the same time, you can go ahead and pull this back into neutral. Next, back to the little pry bar, we're going to start working this trim panel right up. Get right in between, especially right where the clips are right there, and just start prying up. There's two clips on this side that's holding it down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So now that the back part has been lifted up, we want to go ahead and move the last remaining piece holding it in, which is right over here. Basically, you want to pull up and out on both sides so they both come out at the same time. Just like that. And it's also being held down right over here to the little gearbox here, right here into there. Now the reason we went ahead and pulled that back is so we can get nice clear access to these bolts right here. This is a 10 millimeter bolt and this is just one of six that we need to go ahead and remove in order for the whole center console to come right up. Now back to the 10 millimeter, go ahead and put it on and we're gonna go ahead and attack that first bolt right in there. The second one is on the passenger side right here. Now the third and fourth one are gonna be right in the middle. So if we go ahead and put this sideways, you're gonna see them right over here. There's the third one right here. And the fourth one on this side. So just grab your little pry bar, get right underneath and start pulling on the back side here. Just like that. Once the first clip comes off, the rest will follow. This will come off. And then right in there, we have our last two bolts that are holding down the center console. Now at this point, we can just simply lift up the back of the center console and the module will be in plain sight right there. It's really important that we have the battery disconnected before we start doing anything with the module. Make sure to go ahead and disconnect the battery and then the plugs in the front, the yellow plug in front and then the bolts. It's really important that you do it in the right order or else you're risking deploying airbags and seat belts. We don't want that. Now with the plug harness, you want to go ahead and press on this button right here, the white button right in front. And as you do that, go ahead and pull on the lever at the same time. So press and pull. And as you pull it away, you'll notice it'll come right out. Just pull it out. Go ahead and grab your 12 millimeter socket. 
and we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt here and then the other two are in the back here this is what the airbag module looks like on this Lexus. If your car was in an accident and you've been told that the module needs to be replaced, that there's no way that it can be reused again. Here on myairbags.com, we can actually reset your original module, the one that was in the car during the accident. We can clear all hard codes and soft codes. That way you don't have to buy expensive replacement parts at the dealership. Body shops and collision shops all around the U.S. have been using MyAirbags.com for years now because they save on each individual part. Along with the module reset service, the seatbelts also lock up and deploy. Now, if you're a body shop, collision shop, or someone who works with salvage rebuilds, then you already know that the seatbelts after an accident will deploy and lock up they'll throw codes letting you know that you need to replace them instead of buying expensive replacements at the dealership you can actually send them in to myairbags.com and we can professionally rebuild your original seat belts the ones that were in your car during the accident we can professionally rebuild your original seat belts so they'll work again as designed now we're going to go ahead and take a quick look on how the seat belts are set up in this vehicle right over here they're set up right in the pillar just like most cars are but to get to the side pillar we have to remove the foot panel right here you can do that just with your hands or you can grab a little pry bar to get right between the carpeting and the panel. Basically, you just want to unclip it right up. That way, the side panel becomes free. Once this part is up, then you can see that this part is now free. Just go ahead and push it away from the pillar. And if you need to, you can grab a little pry bar or a flathead and get right in there. Now, I'm looking for the clips that are right in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and push them away from the pillar. Now that we have the front of this removed, now let's go into the back seat and finish off from there. Now, just like the front, we have our little foot panel here that we need to lift up first. This will come up and then you'll see this part is now ready to go. Same as the front, just go ahead and push it away from the pillar work upwards once that is out go ahead and remove it now we can clearly see the seatbelt pretensioner here right over here we have the plug this black and yellow plug here that you see this part here is the part that deploys it rolls in the seatbelt it locks up it will throw codes letting you know this part needs to be replaced here at myairbags.com we can professionally rebuild the seatbelt pretensioner that way you don't have to buy expensive replacements at the dealership. After you get it back from myairbags.com, it will function just as designed. Now, if we're taking a closer look at the seatbelt, you see this seatbelt is a single stage seatbelt, meaning it has just one part that deploys. The way we know that is because it has one plug. It's right here, this black and yellow clip right here, this black and yellow plug right here. If your seatbelts were deployed after an accident and you want to send them in to myairbags.com for a professional rebuild, first make sure the battery is disconnected. We don't want any power going into the seatbelt while we're working on it. Second, go ahead and unclip this plug right here and then unplug it. Then we're working on the hardware. Right over here we have our first bolt down here. You want to remove that. Then you have your second bolt right over here. And if you follow the seatbelt upwards, You will have to remove these screws to get behind this panel. And right over here, we have the mounting bracket that also has a bolt holding this part of the seatbelt up. Then the seatbelt continues down into the seat. So if you follow the seatbelt down, you'll see it goes right into the seat and this cover gets removed by pulling it upwards. Now, right over here, there's another bolt that holds the end of the seatbelt down. You can go ahead and remove that piece. Once you remove the seat belt, you can go ahead and put the bolts right back into place for safekeeping. That way they don't get lost during shipping and when you get the seat belts back from us, they're right there waiting for a reinstallation. Once you have removed the seat belts and you're ready to send them in along with your airbag module, all you have to do is go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out, 
Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, we'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.